Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I will sing. Jesus. A pleasant good afternoon to you, you and you, Brother Brown here, and uh, this is our prayer and fasting day. Amen. It's our prayer and praise, and we thank and praise God for you that have joined us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's bow our heads as we begin in a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you today thanking you, O oh God, for this another time of prayer and praise. Lord, we look to you. You are the author. You are the finisher of our faith. Lord, you've kept us. You've kept us clothed in our right minds, with the use, the activities of our limbs. Father, you've been good to us. Continue to watch over us, my God. Continue to lead us and to guide us. Keep us in thy truth and in your word. Oh, God, we continue to wait upon you. You said, oh, God, if we wait upon you, you would renew our strength. We would mount up with wings as eagles. We would run and not be weary. We would walk and not faint. And today, oh, God, we continue to wait upon you. We continue to trust you. We continue to believe you. Teach us, Lord. Teach us how to pray. Teach us how to pray, dear God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We thank you for all our ministers, my God. <coughs> those that are at work, those that are at home, those that are in school, those wherever they are in the world, my God, those on journeys, on missionary journeys, those, Lord, for whatever task you've called them, Lord, are not present at this particular time. Lord, we give you thanks. In everything, we thank you, God. Remember Bishop Stevens and Bishop Betts, Elder Katenga, Elder Dennis, Elder Nigel, Minister Brown, Evangelist Ansami, oh God, Evangelist Katenga, oh, remember Brother Joel today, oh God. Remember all the people everywhere, your pastors, your ministers, my God. Oh, Lord, we bring them in remembrance before you. Today, oh God, we come to you on behalf of Minister Jennifer Claiborne and her family. <coughs> Lord, we commit them to your hands. Oh, God, you see the situation, the circumstance, my God. We pray for their full recovery. We pray, dear God, that you would restore every joint. Every ligament, remove every ache, every pain, every soreness, my God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we continue to thank you. We continue to thank you, O oh God, for your people. O oh God, because we know. We know, O oh God, that you're able. You are able to keep us from falling and to present us. Faultless before your presence with exceeding joy. Oh God, we give you thanks. Continue to fill us with your word. Remember everyone on our prayer list today, my God. Lord, you know each and every one on our prayer list. For whatever reason, that said, pray for me. Remember Minister Brown and me, oh God, as we say, pray for us. Oh, God, help us to run this race uh, with patience, with fear and trembling, my God. Uh, oh, for your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Oh, God, we continue to thank you. We continue to thank you for your word. Uh, we continue to thank you for your word is that lamp to our feet, uh, that light to our path. Uh, remember all your people, all your ministers, oh, God. Here, Lord, 
Get rid of answer prayer. My God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come before you crying out. Oh, Lord, we cry out to you. Oh, God, hear, Lord, hear from heaven. <coughs> oh, God, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, Lord, we are bringing to you in this time, in this time of prayer, my God, now, all your people, whatever congregation, whatever assembly, oh, God, hear, Lord, hear, Lord, hallelujah, oh, you can hear us, oh, God, you will answer us, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, mm. Have your way, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <coughs> okay. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Your Lord. You are Lord, my God. Lord, have your way. Have your way, oh God. Have your way. Oh, remember, Minister. Oh, God, Moulton, Donovan Moulton. Help him to see who he is, my God, that you call him to service. Help him to know, God, that you did not call him to just walk, to just live, but you call him to tell about the goodness of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus we cry while on others thou art calling do not pass him by Lord remember the bereaved families my God in the name of Jesus wherever they may be O oh God oh Lord we thank you we thank you O oh God for you able to make the darkness light what is wrong, Lord, you able to make it right? Lord, we commit it to you. Oh, we trust in you with all our hearts, my God. And we lean not to our own understanding. But in all our ways, Lord, help us to acknowledge you as you direct our path. Hallelujah. Jesus, speak to our hearts. Open our eyes, open our understanding, open our minds, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, thou anointest our heads with oil, our cups run it over. Surely let goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Oh, God, help us to dwell in your house. Help us to dwell, oh, God. Oh, though the going gets rough. And at times it gets tough, my God. But help us to stand. Oh, God, we trust in you. We trust in you with all our hearts. Lord, let us not lean to our own understanding. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, remember your people everywhere, my God. Oh, God, we pray for the president. We pray for the governors. We pray, Lord, for the senators and the Congress persons, my God. We pray for the judiciary. We pray, oh God, for the first responders. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we pray. Have you, you God. Oh, help us to stand. Help us to stand on your promises. Help us to rest assured that you're able to do exceeding and abundant above all we can ask or think 
in the name of Jesus. Bless you, men of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank and praise God for all of you, amen, that have joined us. Those joining by way of the conference line, say praise the Lord, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, amen. Amen. God bless you, amen. And my brother online, Lord bless you, sir, amen. Amen in the prayer room, amen. And your name is, my friend? Troy Freeman. Troy Freeman. Amen. God bless you, Brother Freeman. Amen. Won't you introduce yourself to us and tell us who you are? Yes, my name is Tr Minister Troy Freeman. Amen. I'm calling from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I'm a man of God, and I'm about my father's business in the kingdom. Amen. Amen. That's why I asked you to, because I could tell by the Spirit that you are called. <laughs> Minister Freeman, amen. God bless you about our Father's business. Amen. And we thank and praise God for you. And on the prayer line we have today, um, could you introduce yourself for us? On the conference line? Amen. All right. So sometimes people choose to remain anonymous, but that's fine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Won't you share a word with us, Minister Freeman? Something the Lord laid on your heart that you might just want to talk to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Um now is the time and season for us all to depend on God more, to get more in his word and be more about serving him. He's not a man he's not a man that he shall lie nor the son of man that he shall repent but in this given time and day during the coronavirus it seemed like the whole america needs to repent and get back on track with the lord if they had not done so already amen amen and you know yesterday the lord brought that word to me that word tell the nations repent tell the nations to repent and i posted it on facebook because as the lord when he appeared to john on the isle of patmos he said, repent, 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 repent. And when the plagues were poured out, when the judgments were poured out, the Bible says, and they repented not of their deeds. We find men and women have become hardened. They have become hardened, set in their ways. And no matter what is happening, no matter the situation, the circumstance, the judgment, men's hearts have become so hard that they refuse to repent. However, he said, if the watchmen see at the sword coming and don't sound the trumpet, then their blood will be required at the watchman's hand. But if the watchmen sound the trumpet and they fail to take heed, then their blood will be required at their own hands. So today I'm saying the same thing that Minister Freeman said, repent, repent, repent. Repent. Thank you, Jesus. We are in our time of prayer and praise, and we are thanking God for what He's doing. Today, we want to bring, especially before the prayer group, Minister Jennifer Clearborn. I know she had um, a car accident, amen. And we pray for her and her family that the Lord remove every sign, every symptom, relieve every pain, and remove whatever soreness they may be. We thank God for his divine protection. We thank God that he spared the lives of all those involved. We know that God is able to do exceeding and abundant above all we can ask or think. And we continue to pray. So this time especially, I want to breathe a word of prayer for Minister Jennifer Claiborne and her family. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come before you on behalf of the Claiborne family. Minister Jennifer and her daughters, her son, my God. Oh, the old family, her husband. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your guidance, oh God. Lord, it wasn't what it could have been because of your great grace. Because of your mercy. Your mercy endured forever. 
And oh God, we thank you in everything we give thanks. We give thanks, oh God, for those in the Southland. We give thanks, Lord, for those in Georgia and Florida, Northern South Carolina. Oh God, we give you thanks for those in Texas, those in California, those in Arizona. Lord, we pray today for those in Africa and in India and in Australia and New Zealand, those in Europe, those in Canada, my God. How you've watched over them and you protected your minister, oh God. You brought her out. You brought her out of danger. You took her from the danger, my God. <coughs> oh God, you know what she stands for. You know, oh God, why you call her. You call her to be a light in darkness. You call her, oh God, to let her light so shine before men that they may see the good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Oh God, continue to work in us. Continue to have your way in us. Oh God, help us to continue to hide your word in us, my God. For thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee, O God. And today we pray, dear God, that you would look over the woman of God. Look over her family in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. We bless your name, O God, as we continue to give you thanks. Thank you, O God. Thank you for your great grace. Thank you for your tender mercies. Thank you, O God. Thank you for those who are on the prayer line. Thank you for those, Lord, who are in the prayer room. Oh God, we're giving you thanks. Yes, Lord, to your will and to your way. I say, yes, Lord, we will trust you and obey. Lord, when your spirit speaks to us, oh God, Help us with our whole hearts to agree. And let our answer be yes, Lord. Yes. God, we thank you. Let's get into some praise right here in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. On a prayer line we have with us today. Could you introduce yourself on the prayer line? On the conference line. Say praise the Lord. Amen. And that's quite all right. If you choose to be anonymous, that is quite all right. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As we continue with our prayer and our praise. Thank you, Lord. I know. Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Continue, my God. Continue to watch over us. Continue to protect us. Continue to lead us and guide us. Keep us running this race, O oh God. With fear and trembling. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, Bishop. God bless you, Hello. sir. Amen. Welcome back. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Praise be the Lord. Oh, blessings Amen. be unto you, my friend. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we know you had. Yes, we know you had a trying time. Yes. Amen. But we know you're more than a conqueror. Thank you. Pray for me. We are. And we are and have been praying for you because we know you have the victory. We see the work that yes, you're yes. doing. We see the work that you're doing, and we are 100% supportive of what you do, sir. Won't you have a word for us today in Jesus' name? 
And on the conference line, on the conference line. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, on the phone line. Okay, okay, sir. Mm -hmm. But for me, no matter who is there, it's like a thousand people. I'm still preaching. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Go right ahead, sir. Won't you have a word for us from the word of God? Won't you bring us a word from the word of God? Amen. Something Please. from the Bible, yes. <clears throat> Actually, I, I want to listen from you all. Amen. You want to listen today? Yes, yes. Amen. Just for a few minutes. Amen. We thank and praise God for that. You know, we've been praying for you and we've been praying for Minister Wilson. We've been praying for... Mm -hmm. Pastor Joshua Paul, we have been praying that the Lord will continue to make ways. We've seen the pictures. We've seen the pictures mm -hmm. of the flooding in India. Yeah. We've seen yes. the people being ministered to. We have seen the circumstances. We know what it is. Oh, over here, yes. we've been having it somewhat difficult. Nothing to compare with what you're mm -hmm. going through. But yes. circumstances are such that it is difficult over here in a different way. But we are continuing yeah. our outreach. We are continuing yes. to minister to those who stand in need. <coughs> because we know our God shall supply our needs according to his riches in glory. It's such an honor and a privilege and a pleasure to see you. Amen. I've been missing our yeah. brother Wilson. Amen. And we've been seeing him online, communicating a little bit online. Amen. Social yeah. media. We trust and pray that mm. your family is experiencing a recovery. We trust and pray that the church continues to be strengthened. Because nothing yes. shall separate us from the love of God. Of Christ. Nothing. As the word mm. tells us. I will not allow it. I will let nothing separate me. I'm going to stand. And having done all, I will stand. Today I was looking at Psalm 143. Psalm mm -hmm. 143. And you know, there are times when we need to find ourselves in that place of prayer where we can just reach out to the Lord. And in Psalm 143 tells me, Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness answer me and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, and my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. land. Hear me speedily. O oh Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning. For in thee do I put my trust. For in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. 
I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will. For thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And out of thy mercy, and of thy mercy, cut off my enemies. <coughs> and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. As we see David praying, he prayed and he asked the Lord to teach him to do God's will. A lot of times we want to do God's will, but we have to learn how. There's so much on every side. I turn to the right and there's so much. I turn to the left and there's so much. It's like refuge fail me. Like no man care for my soul. But I cried out unto the Lord. I have to keep crying out. I have to keep saying, Oh God of my salvation. Oh God of my salvation. Hear my prayer. <coughs> hear my prayer. When it seems like everything is going wrong. When it seems like there is nothing right. I lay up before him. And I said, hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear, listen to my supplications. And in thy faithfulness, answer me. God is faithful. He is merciful. And he is righteous. In thy faithfulness and in thy righteousness, answer me. It's terrible when you don't hear from God. It's terrible when you can't hear his voice. But we have to keep on knocking, keep on asking, keep on crying out. Answer me in thy righteousness. And then the psalmist asked God, enter not into judgment with thy servant. Lord, I want your mercy. Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, bring not my soul into the judgment for my iniquities because of Christ Jesus. Because of the mercies of God. He says, For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. I got to plead the mercies of Jesus Christ. In sickness. <coughs> in tribulation. In trials. When I'm hurting. When I feel like I can't go on. When I've done all I could. And it seems like I can do no more. I have to keep reaching out to him because we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by the spirit and not by power. So I have to go to my inner man with moanings and groanings that cannot be uttered. When I can pray with my tongue, I pray with my mind. I pray with my spirit. Because the Spirit make it intercession for me. Though I'm worn out. Though I'm lacking in health and strength. Yet my spirit is renewed every day. The word says, the enemy are persecuting my soul. The adversary. He says he's, he, he's worn out. He can't make it anymore. But oh, these dry bones live. Oh, these dry bones live. I live by the faith of the power of God that strengthened me. So in thee do I put my trust. When the enemy would come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard against him. When I feel like I'm overwhelmed, when my heart is overwhelmed, I say, Lord, by your spirit, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. There must be a shelter for me and a strong tower 
from the enemy. When my mother and my father forsake me, then the Lord takes me up. He takes me up. And he carries me. The enemy persecuted my soul. Smitten my life down to the ground. Made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. He sees my natural state. He sees me according to the dictates of nature. The operations of the natural environment. But God sees me as he wants me to be. The Lord said, Lazarus sleepeth. Men said, Lazarus was dead. God said, this is but for the glory of God. He said, Lazarus come forth. And he that was dead got up. The Lord said, loose him and let him go. Here yeah, sometimes we are bound. By the cares of this life, the things of this life, the things that inhibits us, restricts us, hinders us. Sometimes we have to lose some of those things, shake them off, that the spirit, the inner man will be renewed every day. That renewal, that regeneration, that coming forth. Not out of the flesh, but out of the spirit. For we walk in the spirit. We do not war after the flesh, but we war after the spirit. So the word says, Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is desolate. The war gets to the place where our warning spirit. The war gets to the place where I'm desolate. But that spirit. The spirit of God, the life of God. That life that ever liveth. He said, behold, I'm alive forevermore. That Holy Ghost Spirit. The Holy Spirit says, I make all things new. And if I wait upon him, he will renew my strength. I will mount up as with wings as an eagle. I will run and not be weary. I will walk and not faint because of the renewal of the. And he said, though the outward man perish, inner man is renewed day by day. That renewal. Then the word says, I remember the days of old. There are times when we have to call to mind where we have been, what we have been through. And look at what God brought me to. Look where he brought me from. Look where he brought me from. I remember the times when I was cold. When I was hungry. When I was sick and desolate. When affliction was upon me. Persecutions. But through them all, God brought me out victorious so I've learned to trust in Jesus I've learned to trust in God why I had not known that he could be so much of a victorious God had I not gone through my circumstances but to them all every single time without fail God brought me I've seen persecutions. I've seen wars. I've seen sicknesses. I've seen death. But through them all, God brought me. He brought me out. No one to him that is able to do exceeding and abundant above all we can ask or think. I cried unto the Lord and he heard my voice. He brought me out of the pit. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. I've seen times where the ground was so dry that it cracked. The ground was so dry. It cracked. It was thirsty. But God, but God, he said the dew and the rain 
A lot of times people look at clouds and say, oh, it's cloudy and it's not bright and shiny and all of that. But a cloud brings the rain. The cloud brings that which rejuvenates, restores life, satisfies the thirst. So those clouds may come in our lives. Those days when we can't see as clearly as we want to. And storm clouds may rise and strong winds may blow, but God have a purpose. It's a purpose in the storm. He's going to provide food for the raven. Drink for the beast. He is going to provide the necessities for mankind. So though we may go through our dark days and our dark nights, we must remember that weeping may endure for a night, but the joy of God cometh in the morning. And the darkest part of the night is just before the morning. There are times when the Lord wants us to know our abilities. He wants us to now trust in Him. He wants us to forget the things which are behind. He wants us to reach for it. I remember Lot and Abraham. And Lot was with his uncle Abraham. But the time came when God would separate Abraham and Lot. God have a task for him. God have a job for Abraham. And Abraham went one way and Lot another. And God built the house of Abraham. Many times those with us would choose the wrong communities, the wrong cities, the wrong environment. But Abraham looked for a city whose builder and maker is God. What we're looking for many times is the invisible, that which only God sees. He's going to take us there. Bible says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So God is taking us to a new place. And some trust in chariots and some in horses. And we might have many chariots and many horses. But the battle is not won by a multiplicity of horses and chariots. And God wants us to know, trust in him with all our hearts. And don't lean to our own understanding. God is able to give the victory with few, as he will with many. So he said, trust in me, so that the glory comes to him. It could not have been done except that done by God. And we continue to trust in the Lord. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, O God, that we have learned to trust in you. We've learned to depend upon you. We've learned to put our hope in you. Hope thou in the Lord. Father, we hope in you. Straighten us, we pray. Lord, visit Pastor Connor. In India, my God, his house, the church, his family. Lord, continue to open the vision to him, my God. Lord, a task to which you have called him. Send willing laborers, my God, into the field, into the vineyard, to help him to labor. Lord, Help him to cast all his cares on you, for you care for him. Yes, sir. Yes. Hallelujah. Help him, oh God. Help his family. Help him to lean on you in prayers, in study, 
and in fast news. Oh, God, remember Brother Wilson. Remember the elders of the church. Those in a supportive role, my God. Lord, help us to be faithful. Help them to be trustworthy. Help them to be dependable, my God. Father, stir up the hearts of men and women worldwide to contribute and to help to move the ministry forward. Oh, God, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Lord, they know his voice. Another they will not follow. Oh, God, stir up their hearts. Stir up their minds. Stir up their understanding. Lord, encourage men of God. Encourage them in your word, O oh God. Encourage them in your spirit. Encourage them in your thinking, in your thoughts, Lord. For your ways are not our ways. And your thoughts, not our thoughts. As they teach us to grow, O oh God. As it gives us experiences and knowledge and understanding about the different entities that we encounter. Oh, God, cause us to absorb the things that we learn, things we experience, and apply the lessons as we go forward. Oh, God, remember those that are brokenhearted. Remember those that mourn. Remember those that rejoice. Yes, Lord, those that weep. Lord, continue to reveal to us the ongoings, the things that are occurring. For we know that there's nothing hid from you. Lord, the darkness and the light are the same with you. Oh, God, and we just want to tell you, we love you, Lord. For being so good. Be with us, we pray. In Jesus' name. Yes. We love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Sure. And amen. Thank you, Jesus. Be encouraged, my pastor. Be encouraged. Stand strong in the Lord. Continue to run. Run with patience. This is not a race to the swift, nor a battle to the strong. But he that endureth unto the end shall be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want to tell you, Lord. Jesus. I just want to praise your name. Pray and praise in the name of Jesus. Let's listen a little bit more. I love you for being so good. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. I love you, Lord. For being so good. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You died for me, Jesus. 
Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. I love you, Lord, for being so good. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Connor, won't you share with us? Tell us a little bit about what's happening in India. Tell us a little bit about what's going on. Yeah. So especially in Hyderabad where we are where I'm living. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it was very heavy rain and flood is going on. So around two hundred uh, colonies uh they're in uh, flood. Mm. So ponds are very heavy, they are ready to release the water from the ponds. Mm -hmm. If the release means uh, uh, approximately in half of the Hyderabad may be sinking with water. Mm -hmm. So they are planning, the government is planning to release. We don't know what will happen. <clears throat> so up to now many people, they lost many things. They lost their houses. They left their colonies. So the thing is going on like this, especially in Niger Bird. Mm -hmm. So we are praying, and we are praying. You also pray for that. We are praying. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for your prayers. So and one more thing is, especially for our ministry, this is uh, where I'm living. Yeah. I'm staying that house. So already paid uh, two lakhs. Still uh, have to pay forty three lakhs. Mm. So for that I'm uh, searching for loan. Uh, so for that, uh, just remember in your prayers. We are. So we are struggling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And we're struggling uh, to do some work. That is already we uh, started that business. So we're struggling for the ministry of God uh, to step first here. Yes. Will the people evacuate from over there because of the floods? No, no, not yet, sir. Some colonies still not, uh, they don't have a, uh, sufficient uh, houses. Still they are uh, wandering. So government allotted some uh, places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But where uh, I'm living, that is uh, some little uh, safe. But uh, two three kilometers away from our house, it was uh, filled with water. Mm -hmm. Still, the uh, water is running over the roads. Mm -hmm. So roads are disconnected. So transportation is limited. Uh, Stop. Mm -hmm. Like that, it's happening here. How's Brother Wilson? Where is he located? Yeah, he's uh, joined in another uh, another uh, uh, work. Mm -hmm. uh, that's also he's doing hard work. Uh, from uh, two days onwards, he's uh, suffering with fever. Mm -hmm. so he's not fine now because of uh, rain. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like that. Uh, it's going on. So today we met. Uh, we met and uh, discussed some. Uh, issues about uh, the floods and as well as uh, the about our families. It's very really difficult, especially up to uh, this month. Uh, people are affected with COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And now uh, with the floods, they're suffering. Yeah, we have to call upon the Lord because he tells us in the book of Revelation that we would see these things. He told us we would mm. see them, so we have to be as prepared as we can be. But just trust in him. Ask him, Lord, direct us, lead us. Because he told us perilous times shall come, and we've seen those times. Yeah. 
So we have to be supportive one of another. We have to, we must find a way. We must yes, find a way to be supportive. And, you know, we are working mm -hmm. on that. God will make a way. We know he will make a way. You know, it's like a worldwide. Yes. It's a worldwide mm -hmm. pandemic and uh, it's a worldwide crisis and crisis in government, crisis in uh, organizations, crises in NGOs, all over the world, all kinds of things, climatic, yes. all kind of conditions. Yes. But we have to find a way by God's grace. So whatever we mm -hmm. can do to alleviate the situation. So we are in prayer. How are the children handling it? Yes, sir. The children. How is it affecting the children yeah, yeah. and their schoolwork? Yeah, there is no schools at all. <coughs> schools and colleges, there is no schools because of uh, COVID-19. Mm -hmm. But now they are planning to reopen, but uh, just now the threats are going up. Mm -hmm. yeah, there is no study at all. Up to now, from uh, March. That is going to be missing out on a whole lot. What we try yes, to sir. do... What we try to do is to have our hours involved in biblical studies. We try to have them involved, at least the Bible, yeah. and we teach them mm -hmm. the New Testament, the Psalms, the Old Testament. We get them involved, so at least the language, the language portion, and the reading skills yeah. portion would be addressed. But we kind of try to keep them occupied keep them busy so that yes, sir. you know we minimize the loss mm. yeah, definitely. and I suppose business is like terrible because people can't move around and they have no resources mm. how's the business yeah it's good sir now what's going on it's good But what we're going to ask you to do is pray or close in prayer. We're going to close. We're going to ask you to pray or close in prayer in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Amen. Go right ahead, sir. Shall I pray for you, sir? Yes. Yeah. Our gracious, mighty, heavenly Father, one more time, you gave us to have fellowship and to know the things going on around the world and listen to your word from our beloved father you have a lot of things in your world. Our children lives father many people those who are faith on you and trust in you they overcome many trials and tribulations and crises also so they are our role model. As we knew that we are going, we are going through the difficulties, Father, nowadays. Please lead according to Thy will. Help us to fulfill and to know Your will, Father. Because we don't know by looking, by watching these things, we could not be able to digest. We couldn't be able to understand what the thing is going to be happening in future and tomorrow also. But Father, you know everything. You know in future also, Father. That is why we are inclined in you and trust in you. And Father, give us your word day by day. So Father, please help us in every circumstance, to faith on you, not to astray from your ways. By watching these things, Father, sometimes uh, the world is forgetting you, even the Christianity and the Christians, and sometimes we also, Father, just remove the mind and remove the spirit from us. That if we may 
will with you work definite we will overcome all the things other up to now you will lead us according to they will like will We thank and praise God for you, Bishop. Amen. And uh, we will continue to communicate over WhatsApp. Let us just stay in touch and see if yes. we can continue to move forward. God bless you. Please give my regards to our brother Wilson and the rest of the church. And let them know that we are praying yeah. and we are planning. God bless you in Jesus' name. Stay thank you, thank strong. You. Stay encouraged. The darkest part yeah, yeah. of the night is before the morning. Now be strong in the Lord mm -hmm. and in the power of his might. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you as we are about to leave from here, but not from your presence. We pray that you go mm -hmm. with us, guide us, and protect us. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the full fellowship mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit, rest, remain, mm -hmm. and abide with us till Jesus comes. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. God bless you, Pastor. And we will communicate by yeah, yeah. cell phone, okay? God bless you. Yeah, sir. yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. We should see It's a pleasure seeing you. God bless you, sir. Amen. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Yes, Lord, I know. Yes, Lord. 